Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Side Pursue. Today I want to discuss how open and honest that you should be on the first few dates. The reason I want to talk about this today is because there are too many people giving out way, way too much information on the first few dates. The first thing that you should always be pay attention to is the safety aspects when you're on a date. You don't know these people and this can put you in a compromising position if you give out so much information. The thing with dating is it should be fun and it should be a little bit flirty and playful. Talking about your past dating experiences, your past relationship experiences, or nobody's business but your own. You can discuss things maybe a little bit more on an elaborate level once you've got to know them. But the first couple of dates should be about fun, about getting to know each other. If you're constantly talking about each other's ex and past relationships, you're, you're dwelling in the past. You're not moving forward. And while it might seem like a fun thing to do just to let each other know, okay, this is what it was all about, and that you have a little bit of kibitzing back and forth about why you're not with them, shorten up the details. They don't need the full-blown version of why you're not with your ex-partner anymore. So please, when you're on a first date, don't be talking about all those sort of details. Get to know each other. See if you're compatible. Another thing that I'm finding is people want to tell a new person they're dating about some of their flaws or some of the things that maybe they're insecure about. Put your best foot forward. Why do you want to tell somebody new all the things that maybe you're insecure about? It's really not an exciting thing to talk about because first of all, you're actually letting that person know all the things you don't like about yourself. So why would they date you if you don't even like that about yourself? I don't think a lot of people understand how often they do this. And I know it's just about protecting yourself and saying, well, if they like me and they know all that, then this is a good thing. Let them like you first. Let them see your good attributes. Don't give out all the information about things you don't like about yourself. Think about it. We're all a little judgmental when we're out on a date. We're looking at them. We're being objective to what what their body language is saying, all the information they're giving, if there's negative conversations or bad talk about an ex or a past relationship. This isn't going to get you a second or third date because you are letting everybody know basically why you're still single because you haven't learned about things that you should have learned from. When you end a relationship with somebody, you should always take the lessons and learn from them to move forward so that you can be in a better place with somebody more suited for you. Unfortunately, what happens, a lot of people take the negative with them because they're not over the situation. So if somebody's talking to you a lot about past situations, they're not ready. And that's a really good sort of thing to think about when you are out talking to somebody on a date. And if you're doing that and being the one that's saying all this stuff, you're not ready to date either. So please be careful what you relay to anybody. Don't have them come to your home. Meet them somewhere that's in a nice busy place. Take your time to figure out if there's sincerity with why you're dating them. Are they looking for a partner? Are they looking for a casual hookup? These are the things that you can find out, but if you're busy discussing stuff that isn't really of value, you're missing out on getting to know who that person is when, uh, to see how compatible you are together. And the conversations that you should be having are not about all the things that are private, about the things that you would like to have in a partner and vice versa. What do you like doing? What, what are interests are, do you have that maybe you'd like to have in a partner? These are all things you want to discuss. You can tell people, Okay, I'm not, I'm, I did get a divorce a few years ago. I did break up with somebody a year ago. That's fine. Keep the conversation short. Don't bring that partner into this new conversation with somebody that you have a potential situation with because you don't want to set the, the mood to be in a negative place. 
Plus, you're giving so much information about how you handle a breakup and how you were within that relationship that might be a red flag to them. So this is another reason it's very, very crucial that you don't give out too much information to anybody. It's great to have a conversation with somebody when the when things just flow, it's just fun, it's natural. You're talking about what they like doing, you're talking about maybe a trip you went on that you thought was fabulous, and you're talking about all these kind of things to keep the conversation flowing and away from those sort of stories you don't wanna keep talking about from your past. You also wanna keep it so that it's not an interview style situation either. You don't wanna go in there with the checklist and ticking off the boxes because you're asking all those tough questions. Get to know them. Get to see the fun side of them, to see if you even like each other. You wouldn't go up to a perfect stranger on the street and tell them all these pertinent details about who you are. But that's what this is when you're dating somebody new because you don't know them either. So please keep the conversation very light, very non-interview style. Look across the table at each other and have some fun. People are getting way too serious too quickly and they're sabotaging their happiness because they're putting out negative energy too quickly about stuff that shouldn't be talked about. We all have stuff, we all have flaws, but we don't need to share our dirty laundry with every single person we meet. It's really that simple. I know people feel like, well, I should you know, be honest. Well, you can be honest to a certain degree but keep it short. If they ask you a question that you find uncomfortable, tell them it's uncomfortable for you. You don't have to answer everything they ask you because you feel if you don't, you're hiding something. You just tell them, well, that might be a conversation for another day, or I'm not really ready to share that yet, or give a very short version to their, their question. And this one's really important, I think. Some people will disagree with me, but I really think you should keep the sex talk for later on down the road. If it becomes one of the first conversations you have, you're setting that as a pace. So the next time they see you, they're gonna feel more comfortable talking about it, more and more and more. And then your relationship could end up being sort of a booty call or just a sexual type of relationship. And if you're looking for a potential partner, don't have a lot of talk about sexual stuff on the first three or four dates. And also, if you enter a date talking about all the things that haven't worked out for you, what you don't like about men or what you don't like about women or what you found that all women are this way or all men are that way, that's also sabotaging things because nobody wants to be around that sort of doom and gloom sort of environment. They want to meet you under really happy circumstances and know that, wow, this person's fun. I think I'm going to really enjoy seeing them again. That's what you want to leave as an impression when you walk away from a date. It's also a very good idea at the end of a date to sort of sit back and reflect on, on your actions. How did you play a part in the date? Is there something that you would change? Is there something that maybe you would enhance? These are all things that are really good to do when you are trying to analyze, okay, why didn't I see that person again? Why didn't they call? Or what didn't I like about them? Make some notes about things like this because this is how you progress when you date, when you understand what it is that's important to you and what isn't important to you. Keep a little mystery there. Don't be such an open book. Make them want to see you again because there's something about you that intrigues them. They didn't throw everything out on the table so they know every detail about who you are. Just give them enough that it's encouraging for them to want to see you and want to date you again. This is super important because that's what falling in love is all about. It doesn't happen overnight. I mean, occasionally it can, but for the most part it doesn't. It takes a while to get to know somebody. So don't be in such a rush. Don't be in such a rush to give out all your information all your statistics, all the things that are really private to you. They have to earn your trust here. Don't be giving it all away. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments or questions you have below the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you would do so. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.